brake decks on your track car. There are a lot of brake deck kits out there and if you're going through the work of installing a kit, you can just buy the parts that make up a kit and do it for a lot less money. I'm going to show you what I did to put brake ducts on this S2000. Now this is a supercharged S2000. I use it at the track. I had to install brake ducts because I was cracking a lot of rotors. And uh, not only was I cracking rotors, but I was going through pads very quickly and I was also boiling my brake fluid. So the brake ducts will solve lots of issues. Your fluid will not boil, meaning you can run less expensive fluid and your pads will last longer and your rotors will last longer and so that is very important and that is why people put the brake decks on their car. Now the total cost of installing these was about $150 and that's because I had to buy a, uh, a hole saw to cut holes for the brake decks and uh, then I had to buy 12 feet of hose from Pegasus Auto Racing and I'm sure you could buy it somewhere else but they had a really good price on it. And then I had to buy four aluminum flanges and I had to buy four hose clamps. And so I'm gonna show you how I put these on the car. So let's turn this around. You can see my brake duct hose popping up. I removed it so you could see it. Um, this is the hose and it goes out around to the front bumper. We go in here, we can see there's the hose. And now if we turn the camera around right here, you can see the aluminum flange and um, you can also see that I just riveted it on there. But if you look through the hole you can see the brake rotor. Uh, what this does is it takes air from the front of the car and directs it right into your brake rotor and it cools it off. And so this basically keeps your braking consistent throughout the whole session. Before I installed these I was only able to drive on the track for about 10 to 15 minutes consistently. So now the problem is the tires. The tires will overheat, so i got to put some more aggressive tires on this car. But let's come around to the front and take a look at this, at this uh, inlet. So the AP2 Honda S2000 has a nice inlet for it. I just drilled out a hole with my hole saw, put the aluminum flange on there, and then riveted it on. And then, uh, you know, you use a hose clamp to keep the hose on there and uh, it's very nice. Uh, one important thing with your hole saw is to make sure your hole saw is slightly bigger than the hose and the reason is because I had to cut holes in the plastic under tray in order to get this hose routed to the front bumper. So you can see there's a hole right there for the hose to go through and so that is pretty important. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this hose back on because I'm done showing you guys. But the point of all this is uh, it's a very inexpensive mod that actually ends up saving you money. You're able to run less expensive brake fluid. You're able to get more out of your track pads. And that's important because a set of racing pads for the front of the car runs about $200 a set. The uh, rotors, on the other hand, are not too expensive, but extending the, the life of your rotors is very important because changing them at the track is not fun. If you have an S2000 or a Corvette, you probably know this all too well. The obvious solution is to put on a big brake kit, but again, that costs a lot of money. So this might be a uh, cheap thing for you to do in the meantime. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.